Hey, you remember what's up, brass? All right, I'm gonna do this quickly. There is two things I'm gonna show you what to do when you download green screens and implement it in your in real life video. So as you may notice, you're looking for a little green screen here, and you come across this little apple jack with your eyes, you know, eyelid floating upwards, and oh my god, I did not click like that. Okay. And then you're like, okay, sure, let's download the green screen. So you go ahead and download the green screens. You have it downloaded right here, and it runs so perfectly. You want to use this, and you're in real life video. Cool. All right, so you got your little clip here, and I need to hit caps lock. All right. Oh, what the fuck? All right, you got your little clip here. Now you want to drag Applejack into your scene just like this. Cool. So it's right up here, and you want to get rid of this green background. So you go ahead and go do that. But the problem is, as you may notice, part of her mane and her iris or that part of the eye is transparent in accordance to the background. So that's like, well, darn, I have this problem now. In my other tutorial, I kind of told you how you can kind of tweak it by you know moving this kind of stuff and that really wasn't as effective as it is so one thing is be sure when you go into these green screen videos that they have a alternative download they're most likely referred to as alpha screens but this one is referred to as blue screens all it is is you download it it's just the same thing but with blue background so make sure whenever you go to your favorite uh, green screen provider always have an alpha version if they have some green in their bodies or blue or whatever so as you can see this is a blue screen so I'm gonna do the exact same thing in here I'm gonna delete this one I'm gonna go over here to this project and just drag this blue s oh nope that's not it alright this blue one right here okay let's do the same thing shall we we're gonna go to effects key and then key light I'm going to click on the blue background and bam, look at that. No transparency in the main and no transparency in the iris or eyelid or whatever is thing called in the eye. All right, second thing is, if you're making green screens and you want to upload it to other people and you have a character that has, you know, green in their body and you're going to make your green screen, make sure you provide an alpha download. And how do you do an alpha download, you may ask? Well, let's do that right now. All right, let's go through my projects here. Ah, uh, fine, let's do this one. Uh, uh, do what you want, because the pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, I already took the liberty and took the green, but let's say let's go back to this composition setting. Uh, let's say it's just green right now. Just uh, ignore what I'm doing right now. Just ignore what I'm doing right now. Ignore it, and ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. All right, so you come across with a green screen like this. You're like, well, darn. Well, you have some green. Where's that green part? Oh, there it is. Her tail is green. So you're like, oh, man, we have some green and green. We can't do that. Well, what we can do is we're going to go to our composition right here in the top menu bar. We're going to go all the way, go to the composition settings, or just hit Control k for shortcuts. So after that, we're going to go to the background color. Double click that bad baby. We're going to go to the green and just hit that zero. We're going to go over to the blue section. You're going to hit 255. Bam. Blue. You're going to hit OK on that one. You're going to hit OK on that one too. So right now you have done a alpha version of the green screen. That way you can uh, upload it to the other people and provide them with content that won't um, give them much trouble. Let's go ahead and do composition and to render Q. And you're going to render this bad baby right here. That way you could pirate, uh, pirate. Ooh, and I also forgot to do one thing. So, okay, uh, before I end this, uh, where, where was I? Where's my projects? Okay. Uh, all right, let's go back to this one. All right, so I already showed you how to do a green screen. I already know how to, I uh, already told you how to convert it to a alpha screen or blue screen. Now, if you're working with After Effects only, only with After Effects, it doesn't matter if CS5, CS6, or CC, Creative Cloud, I'm pretty sure they all work the same way. So, if you're only working with After Effects and you have a video in After Effects that you're going to implement, uh, hold on, let's implement this right quick. And you don't want to, and you don't want to do no green screen and no blue screen whatsoever, you just want to import only this character, you can do that. You can only import this character only without the blue or or uh, green screen. So I'm going to show you that how to do that right now. Let me just get a, a little clip here so I can show you a little 
visual reference. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's do this in the new composition, shall we? All right. So this little parking lot here. Okay. Um, uh, but before I do that, let's go. Let's go back to this. Uh, this one right here. Okay. So this one right here. You just want Rainbow Dash only. Okay. Let's go to composition. And I don't think I need to go there. Okay. No, I lied. No. Okay. Um. I guess you don't have to do this, but you can click the little checker thing beside the active camera. And, uh, you know, it'll only show Rainbow Dash here. Okay. Now you just want only Rainbow Dash. Okay. Let's go to uh, add render queue. Uh, add to render queue. Okay, there we go. All right. Ignore all these render queues. These are just so many. Ref oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so when you add to render queue, you will have these options. You're gonna go to the render settings right here. You're gonna double click on it or single click or whatever it is. Uh, I think it's right here, is it? Nope, I lied once more. I am a bad liar. You're gonna go to the output modules where it says lossless. Click that once. All right, here we go. This is the main menu you need to be in. So you're gonna come over here to the channels under the video output and automatically it's on red, green, and blue. You're going to click on that one. You're going to get red, green, and blue plus alpha. Hit that one. You're going to hit OK, and it'll show that it's been customized AVI. Go ahead and render that one. And it takes a sweet time to render that beautiful little mare there. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, sing along the little pirate song. Mm. All right, I got to stop this. Okay. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. It rendered. Did that little beef. Let's go back to my little scene here. All right, now, as you may notice, it still shows a blue screen because this is how the 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 uh, video player plays it as. But if you drag it back to your after, after Effects file right over here and you just put it right there in your scene and you just go a little bit forward, bam, just like that. You don't have to worry about green screen. You don't have to worry about blue screens. You don't have to worry about, you know, changing the settings so it's not transparent. It's just right there. You can do that just like that. I'm not sure if this works with other video editors. I tried doing this in Sony Vegas. It would not work on Sony Vegas Pro. So I'm pretty sure it only works on After Effects program. So that's one good thing that I haven't told you on my other tutorials that I should have have. So let's go on to compressing and zipping up the files. And then once you're done rendering, the problem is that these files are big. So if you have a uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip or any program that compresses the files, I would highly recommend you. So this is the uh, .avi raw file. It's on uncompressed raw files so that way you, you don't lose quality when, uh, uh, when um, sharing it to other people. So if you don't know what WinRAR is, 7-Zip, they're just uh, programs that help um, compress these files. So let's say this file is 640 megabytes. That's half a gigabyte, and that's a lot of um, uh, file size to upload. So what you're going to do is if you ever downloaded it and you have it installed already, then all you have to do is just right-click, and you're going to hit um, – I have WinRAR. So you might have something different if you're using 7-Zip. But I'm going to add it to a um, yourpirate2.rar file. I'm going to hit that, and then it will compress it for me. And it's going to take a while depending the length and, and the, uh, the, the amount of editing you've done in the file. Now, if, you, if the provider uploads a .rar file and you don't have a program that could open it, download WinRAR or 7-Zip. They'll open it. They're both free, even though if you open this one, it says this is not a free version. Well, I've been having this for like three years now, and you don't have to pay for shit. So, and as you can see, it's done. It's a .rar file. When you right-click and hit Properties... 23.5 megabytes wow that is amazing it's compressed you could upload it to anywhere i use mediafire or google docs or whatever but any of these uploading sites work now you have a small file you have a blue screen and a green screen both provided and bam if you have any other questions regarding the green screen transparency things like that i'll do my best to try to answer it but at the same time, I'm not really a pro at After Effects. I do a lot of gaming in my life, and I don't do much video editing as much as I need to. But I'll do as much as I can with what I know. So I share what I know with, with share it with you guys. So that'll be it for today, and good luck with video editing.